Hey guys, welcome and happy art day to you guys. I got a project that is really, really simple. It is making a three-dimensional hand, um, kind of like an optic optical illusion, and then coming off the paper. It's really, really fun and simple, and really you don't need any certain supplies. Um, pencil, Sharpie always makes it look better, but you don't need a Sharpie. You can just do it in pencil on any supplies that you have, um, and multiple of times that you do it. There's so many different options to this with coloring it, um, whether it's colored pencils, markers, crayons, oil pastels uh, thousands and thousands of different varieties and I'll show you a couple of those but let's get started into it the first thing that you want to do is trace your hand um, you can add a little bit of your uh, wrist on there if you want if it fits on there um, I'm gonna do it sideways but you can do it up and down too if you haven't traced your hand before I always do a little tip of holding the pencil a little bit more up then down here, if you do it down here, you kind of bump into your hand. So if you hold it up a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier. And start out nice and lightly. Lightly always works better, just in case you make a little mistake. All right, so then I can make it a little bit darker. I'll go over that a little bit more. I'll connect some of these pieces that aren't quite connected. So let's go through that fast. of this is to have the lines go straight across or as straight as you want them and then once they hit your hand they kind of go over that kind of bump of your fingers or your hand that it makes it look like the optical illusion that if there was a real line here that it would bump over each of those so any part that has the hand it has to go a curved line almost as if the hand was like coming out of the paper like from underneath and then your lines um, the straight part of it will go in the background and then the arched line will go over the fingers you do not have to use a ruler you can just try as best as you can to keep the lines more straight and then when they hit the fingertips there'll be a little bit bump um, but if you have a ruler you can use a ruler definitely on this so I'll do one of each of those I'll do one with a ruler and then without so if you got a ruler you can go right over it. I still start off lightly just in case I make a mistake and then I kind of skip over the finger, still do in the background, skip over the finger, and then do the background. Ooh, I got really close to the finger on that one, so you got to be careful that if even if you can't see it with the ruler, you might get close to the ruler um, or to your fingers in the background. So this one, um, but there here you can probably see it a little bit better. So if I go straight over here, skip over that, straight behind here, straight behind here, straight behind here and then go all the way over here is that the straight line and then once you hit these fingers you want to do a curved line a curved line and then this one already curves so this one would curve and I always think it looks best if you almost follow that same curve that you did on top of your fingers so there add those curved lines try to keep all your curves about the same um, and then you can continue doing any, you can space them out, you can do thinner ones, you can space them out, um, and then we can outline them in Sharpie. So I'll go through those really, really quick. Whole background done. But now I did want to skip over here just to kind of give you guys an idea um, from the fingers will look a little bit different than the hand part of it. So as I finish up the fingers here, the hand, you want to make sure that it's a large one going all the way across from one side all the way to the next and then this one as well you can kind of go all the way and then come down over here this one all the way up and then all the way down on there okay so I got the whole hand done and then I got the background so I can um, some, some people do them different colors some people do them the same colors like I said there's lots of different options on here so let's see what I think I'm gonna use color pencils on this but I think I got outline it in Sharpie first so let's go through that real fast Done. I'm going to start going over the hands and this is where it starts to look like it's an optical illusion. You can see the way that I colored. I tried to take my time. I tried to do a little bit of value. So I picked one side and did darker. I could have done darker, light, dark, but I decided to just do a value scale from light to dark 
light to dark in, in each one and I think that looks good. So let me go up to here. So this side I'm going to do darker. I'm going to do lighter on here and then darker as it gets towards the top and then it'll start to look like it's actually going over. So let's go through that real quick. All right, then there it is. Looks awesome. I think it turned out really cool. I like the colors that I used on that. And of course, put a little frame on it. Another so, really easy project that you can use with a variety of different tools. So as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. And we will talk to you guys later.